What's going on guys, Sky here for today back in my video. In today's video, uh, we're going to be talking to you guys about what's new with Mac OS Sierra and what, uh, like really what's new with it. So there's a bunch of stuff that's new with this device, or with this uh, platform. It's actually pretty incredible. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it. It's not going to be too long of a video because I don't want to make it very long. I'm just going to talk about what's brand new with it. So the main feature really is Siri. So to cut to the chase, Siri, Siri is now on the Mac. So you can do everything that you did with the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch now on your uh, Mac. So you can just hold a button or whatever it is, and there's also an icon and click, and then it'll bring you right up to Siri. You can do any command you want. It comes up on the side. It's pretty cool, like this, as you guys can see here. You got Siri for reservations, anything like that, anything you want. You can find a table, anything. So it's pretty cool to see, uh, locate your files. That's, it really is an awesome thing. Uh, you can keep results, and it was pretty cool. So you uh, Siri results. Um, if you want some type of Siri result, obviously, you can just send it over to your notification section. Um, and it'll automatically load up or a notification center. Uh, so if you want like to know about Giants schedule, for example, or some type of sports schedule, you would just a ask Siri for it and ask them to uh, ask her to put it onto the um, uh, notification center, and it'll automatically just put it on the side. It's right there, so it's really pretty cool. There's also a new feature called Search Drag and Drop, so you can search for images and information just by asking for them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, another brand new feature is you can actually paste, like, copy something from your iPad and paste it in your Mac, which is really cool. Uh, like, so it's PDFs. Here's everything you ask it for. Um, it's actually a really cool thing. A new uh, redesigned photos application, much like with the um, iOS 10 and iPhone, iPad, all that stuff. Uh, so it's very similar to that. Uh, so the web is also now pretty awesome in that because now it's accepting Apple Pay. Basically what you do is you go to a website that's compatible. Let's say this website's compatible. Uh, so you go there, you want to buy whatever you want, and then you click on the Apple Pay icon, and then you go on your iPhone at that point, and you just scan, uh, you put in your fingerprint or even your Apple Watch, and then uh, you know, click a button, and you're good to go. That's all you really need to do. And speaking of Apple Watch, there's a new feature on here where you can actually, uh, if you have an Apple Watch nearby, or even I think it was an iPhone as well, you just can have your Apple Watch, and then uh, if you're near your Mac, it'll automatically just uh, turn on the Mac when you open it up rather than having to type in a passcode, which is really a, a great feature. Uh, like I said, copy on one device, paste on another. I just talked about that. Your desktop and documents folder ask accessible on all of your devices. As you guys can see here, everything's compatible. Everything works together. It's everything that like, works flawlessly with uh, with each other, which is pretty awesome. Uh, optimized storage. So, for example, um, if you're running out of storage, let's say you have five gigs left or twenty gigs left, for example. Uh, I'll use their example. Let's say you have 20 gigs, all right, and you have a whole bunch of files on your uh, Mac, and a lot of them are old. So what the Mac will automatically do, it's actually very smart thinking. I don't know how well I like that, but it is smart thinking. It will automatically um, transfer your old files. So all the old files you have in your computer that you haven't really opened or really used in a while, it will automatically transfer to the cloud. So it will automatically transfer to Apple's iCloud. Uh, so, and then at that point, you'll pretty much go from... 20 gigs all the way up to 150 so there you go pretty much has how it works right there so you're almost at storage and it goes all the way to 150 pretty much or even more you know obviously it depends on what you use but i don't know how much i like that i'm sure there's a way to turn it off if you don't like that so it is pretty cool because i'm sure those are the people that don't like cloud whatsoever uh, you easily get rid of duplicate and uh, obsolete files very easy to do uh so it's actually a really cool uh thing i like it a lot you can um oops. i apologize about that i don't know what happened there you can live up to the conversation, which is really cool. Uh, so it's actually a really nice thing. Uh, I greatly think it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Obviously, I redesigned Apple Music app, like I said. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.